Hi, my name is Alexander Eertmans, uh, Vice President at Capgemini Invent. Today I'm being joined by Joost van Putten, Head of Strategy in Banking, and Luca de Boer, Growth Enthusiast. Very interesting role that she has. Here we go. We're going to discuss business models in open banking. Small recap, open banking is being enabled by PSD2, the Revised Payment Service Directive, and it enables basically to look into your bank accounts, and you can do something with that payments data. Other than that, obviously, you can initiate a payment. And now besides banks, other parties can do that. And I wonder what their new business models are. Joost, can you give me a hint? Essentially, we see uh, business models in two types of areas. One being the service fees, for which we expect a new market of roughly 10 million euros to emerge. And the second one is about transaction fees, whenever you make a payment. Mm. And that market might be roughly 50 million in total. So if you want to, uh, and let's also look at a few examples of uh, the type of business models that are being used. Uh, Luca, maybe you can provide a few? Yeah. Well, first of all, money management. And that's actually quite crucial for us as, as consumers because it's very valuable to know what do I spend for groceries or how much do I pay every month to insurance. They could also help with your subscriptions. How much are you paying for um, your telco? Um, Wait a minute. Are you telling me that they actually offer me then ways to save money? Indeed, or at least they give you the insight, so oh. you can decide upon yourself what to do with it. Um, furthermore, you also see accounting software uh, for freelancers, or small, medium enterprises, or even uh, corporates could also be helped with it. And um, we see big data aggregators, and these are players like Yolt or Plate. And those ones are charging per API call. All right, and what is an API call? <laughs> So maybe I can take that one, yeah. because I think API calls is maybe a bit technical, but it's crucial to understand in, 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 in a data economy. So whenever you need to share data, there needs to be an interface to communicate that data. Mm -hmm. And whenever one computer connects to the other computer, a microtransaction is made. And those ah. are the API calls. So basically this entire system is based on APIs. Now the good news is, Luca, you're telling me that for huh, there's small initiatives in which I yeah. can save money. There's also the change of the larger infrastructure. So what is there in the real supersize area looking forward? Any clues? Yes. So from, from that perspective, we can take China as an example. Because in a certain way, Europe and even the US are lagging behind China, where two large companies, Tencent and Alibaba, are controlling a very large part of the payment market. And what you see there is that at a certain moment also, customers start shifting their deposits. So actually, these tech companies are starting to behave like banks. And even a small shift of 2% of customer deposits would result in Europe to hundreds of billions of euros in deposits shifting to tech players. Hmm. Do you see any of these growths continuing? Yes, you could even take it one step further, huh? mm -hmm. asking yourself the, the question, huh, why do these uh, big tech players actually engage in this field? Mm -hmm. And that's not necessarily for the profits of FS only, the financial services huh, that they're offering. They're also trying to do it to enhance their existing propositions, because that's their core reason why they make money. So attracting people in their ecosystem for Google allows them to sell more advertisement. And for Apple, it allows them to sell more devices. So in that sense, how it impacts business models, it impacts their traditional business models of advertisement or device sales. Entirely clear, which means basically all players in the field need to analyze those business models, right? Because if you're small, there's a lot of competition. If you're a bank, they're new entrants. If you're a big tech, well, you can roll out everything and deploy the way you want, but you have the viability. I would say interesting topic. We'll discuss more next time. Thank you very much.